Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Guys, uh, I'm probably cutting back in right now because I just realized that it might actually be a bit of a good thing that I had that I missed that because it allowed me to come back into this room. And I actually remember now. I forgot a stray fairy that's up here. Somewhere in there. Uh, I'm not going to try and stealth that out. I'm just going to use the lens of truth. But yeah, there's a stray fairy just randomly hidden in the roof there. I don't know why it's so cryptic to find that one. I guess with at least one stray fairy in each temple, they have to be a bitch about it and just put it in an area that you would never think to look in a million years. But there you go. That's the one in the roof. I often miss that on my run-throughs of this temple, but not this time. Yay. Okay, and I'm probably just going to cut this out because you've already seen me do this. Okay, guys, I made it back to here now. And we're going to try to not fail at this time. At this, this time. And it, if we do, just let us fall into the safety net and not over its edge. Yeah, like that. See, I'm okay with that because I can just walk back around, climb up the ladder, even though it should be too way too heavy and fat to climb that up, or climb up that, and then almost hit the ice there and freeze to death, but no. Oh, what? Okay, come on, I did this with pretty, with like one fail last time. Now I'm just, oh, come on, this is really not that hard to roll up. You just have to get, you just have to go slow. Like, you don't want to waste, you don't want to be in your spiky form like I was the first time I did that in this video. Alright, and now back here, this, I think, heads into the elevator room. Well, damn it, I just spoiled that. Oh, whatever. That's an elevator down there, by the way. You'll be able to activate it later. But for now, there's not actually much we can do in this room, except there's another, like, really well-hidden stray fairy in this room. And if you remember my first episodes of this temple that I had to take down, you remember I failed a lot at this, but not this time, because I know what I was doing wrong, and now I can just do it, and I won't have to come back around here like three times. Okay. Thank you. Now I made it up here, and stray fairy. Cool. And why is this one tile here green? What the heck? What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and jump down here. Oh! That was even more narrow that was even a more narrow catch than last time I recorded this I keep talking about the last time I recorded this as if that's gonna make up for the commentary somehow it's not this commentary sucks cuz I have nothing to talk about oh well alright so we're just gonna head and cross over here as usual the best way of traveling is always through Goron jumps cuz it's so much fun if I was Goron in real life I would totally just roll around everywhere Especially since there's no magic power in real life. Okay, what's this about? Oh no! Ah! Uh, hello. This is a whiz robe. Yeah, a whiz robe. Doesn't remind you anything of the things in in Wind Waker? Okay, well, here he is. Um, Actually, oh crap. Well, I was going to scan him, but I, I missed my chance there. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, do it now. Alright, he has my ba his back turned this time. It's a whiz robe. You get your chance right when it starts to attack. Be on the lookout for it. Yeah, right there. Okay. And something that actually someone pointed out in the comments of one of my deleted videos is... Well, ow, crap. Well, first... Oh. Well, last time I fought this guy, I used arrows to beat him, which is ultimately more effective, I think, because it goes faster. But the Goron punch is actually stronger. So... Roll over to him and punch. Yeah. And like I was, like I was saying before I got interrupted by him freezing my ass like twice. Oh gosh. Is that someone in the comments of, the, of one of the videos I deleted said that if you, that if you just look at your map down the corner, it actually telegraphs where he's going to appear next. So, like you can see like the little red dot in the corner, and that pretty much shows you exactly where he is. Even when there's all these like clones running around. That still never fails, so... The compass is actually really useful here. Go figure. Compass is actually useful for something? No way. Alright. And beating that guy makes an awesome chest appear. Yeah. And like I stated the last time, I stand by it. This design in the ground is awesome. Indeed. No idea what it is, but... Yeah. Oh, you're gonna get to see this now. When the Goron holds up something, the camera angle's all screwed up. Whoa! Fire arrow! Hell yeah! That's gonna be so useful in this place, even though it's dramatically out of place since I should get get a fire item in an ice dungeon. Oh well. 
I'm not thinking I'm not a game designer, so whatever. Okay now. So now that I've done that, uh I think I can pretty much just fall now. Whoa Ouch. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so with the fire arrows now, you can actually go around and finally well, not really finally. It hasn't actually been that long in this temple. But, oh wait. This is awesome when you equip these. Watch this. Epic red glow. I don't know if it did that in Ocarina of Time. I don't remember off the top of my head. But, that if it, if it did, then it was awesome then. And it's still awesome now. Great effect, even though it's rather simple. Okay, so, um, yeah. I've come back into here. Because, if you remember... Uh, well, there were three freezers in this room. And, we were unable to take out that one before, but now we can, and that activates a chest. Who would actually think to do that? I don't know, but it's actually required, too, because this is a small key. I mean, look at that. What the hell's that shit? Sorry for cussing. Alright, now. Um, over here, too. Actually, I think I want to go back to near the start of the temple first, because there's a stray fairy that I can pick up now that I couldn't have before and it is uh... well I'm going to avoid this guy first run away but yeah if you now that you can come in here you can actually unfreeze these ice blocks that were just randomly scattered about this room okay kill the white wolfos too yeah but you, you really need to be conservative with your fire arrows too because as you can see I'm starting to well I'm not really running low on magic but I'm below half about a third of my magic was left. Uh, I didn't even see that guy right in front of me when I hit him like that. Oh well. Yeah. Okay, there's a switch over here. Let's press it. Cool. And that just makes a chest appear. Interesting. Why do so many switches do that, I wonder? Where do the chests come from, anyways? And where do they go when you open them? Well, they don't go anywhere, as you can see. This one's still here. What am I talking about anymore? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and push this block. And it's a it's a standard ice puzzle, you know, just like push the block along the ice, it slides, stuff like that. But it's not really a puzzle at all. You just have to figure out how to get to there. And okay, random falling stalactites and stray fairy nine. That's cool. Right now, um, there's also a door up there that we couldn't reach before, and I feel like I was saying something too, and then I. Notice like a something, and then lost, got off topic. That happens to me sometimes. I don't know why. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do a little zigzag pattern here with the Majora's Mask block, and that should allow us to. Do I hear a timer? No, I don't. Oh, what time? Oh, I just looked over at the spot where my timer usually is, and then I realized what? I don't have a timer. Gosh. Number one, I'm recording a temple, and I don't, like, pause in between episodes to record a temple. And number two, there's no time limit anymore, so what's the point of a timer? Other than just to, like, keep your videos at a certain point, so, like, I don't accidentally go to 30 minutes or something. Alright, and, uh, yeah, so now we have access to this treasure chest, which we made up here earlier, and would have been so much easier to get with the hookshot, but no, they had to give us the fire arrows instead. I mean, hookshot would have been overall more useful, but oh well. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh! I fell for the trap. I'm so stupid. Okay, so now that we've got those two stray fairies out of the way, um, we're just gonna go ahead and backtrack again. How many times have we backtracked in this temple? I don't know. You just have to kind of loop around a lot and go to a bunch of different places or the same places multiple times in order to get everything in this place in this temple. Alright, so, here's one of the doors that we couldn't open before, and inside, there are another three freezers, I think. There's, yep. So we'll just go ahead and take these guys out. I could just walk up to them and, like, destroy them with my sword or my Goron paunch, but I figure, I'm just lazy. I'll just sit back and fire at them. Alright, now. Um, oh, I'm gonna fall? No. Okay, I thought I wasn't going to make that jump. Wouldn't that have been egg on my face? 
Okay, uh, give me some magic, please. Thank you. I was down to, like, a freaking sliver of magic there. Alright, and here is another stray fairy that makes 11. Have I missed some somewhere? Because I remember that was, like, the second last stray fairy for me when I came in here last time. Okay, um, that's just another entrance to the room. So you don't, you only really need to unfreeze one of the entrances, but I figured, why not? Okay, and now it's just a your standard tor li torch lighting puzzle. Except you don't have to use a Deku stick this time. So happy. Okay, oh, oh, wow, I keep going like, oh, that actually hit it? How? Okay. And is that good, or did this one go out? Yeah, it did. Look at that crap. And dramatic zoom on the door. That was just one of the most random camera shots possible. Like a dramatic zoom in on the door, and the door is off center in the frame. Whatever. It works, it's just weird. Okay, so now, basically, the, your entire purpose of the temple was to get up to this one point so you could completely block your access to a lot of places, or completely hinder your access to a lot of places. Because really, just because there's a giant freaking pillar in the middle of the hub room now doesn't block your access to anywhere. It just makes it harder to navigate around. Okay, now. Um. Let me see. I I feel like I missed a stray fairy there here, around here somewhere, though. I don't know. Maybe I haven't. We'll see. But, uh, for now, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and head down here. Ah! And up the spiral. Yep. I need to take a drink here. Oh, wow. Have I really been talking that much? Probably. Because I, I can never stop talking. Not even for, like, a second. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking right now. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. See, that was only, like, two seconds. Barely. Okay, we'll get rid of this guy, cause just because he's butt ugly. Okay, come over. There you go. Alright, now, uh, now I can show you what I meant by this platform as an elevator, because first we'll get rid of the freezer there, and then you can shoot the frozen eye. Yeah. Which causes it to go up like an elevator. Cool stuff. And that's a nice little shortcut up to here, where, as you can see, this is like the, uh, this is like the first set of irregular looking blocks. These blocks are actually made out of ice. But it's very ornately carved ice. I wonder who carved it. Regardless, the Goron can just punch these out of here. Wow. Even for a Goron, this seems like a big job, but apparently not. But whatever. Alright, and now, um, normally I would have come around from the other side, like from through that room with like the timed pressure switch puzzle and the stray fairy in the ceiling, I would have come out there and punched from the other side and then my access would have been blocked. But since I used that shortcut like I'm supposed to, I can actually work my way around to here and now I can go through here. Nice little frozen stairway. I kind of wonder, is that was that stairway like frozen all the way through up to the top or just at the entrance there? I'd imagine it's just the entrance, but I could be wrong. I often am wrong. Okay. And there's another two ice blocks here to punch out. You know, Mike Tyson's punch out. Okay. And now we have to do this little balancing act to cross the snow here again. Except this time there's no safety net. But I think that one's actually easier too, so you don't really need a safety net. But on the off chance that you actually do fall, it's annoying. Okay. Oh, we had a key all that time? Wow. I didn't even notice. 